M0 FXB, welcome to my channel and we're using RT Systems and we're going to put in our APRS settings into our Yesu FTM 400. Now we've tested this, it's all working, we're showing up on APRS FI. So let's do it. So the first thing you need to do is go communications and get data from your radio, make sure you've read your radio. Then go to settings, radio menu settings, and I'm just going to show you my settings. So APRS, let's start at the top. So we've put in M0FXB as my call sign and we've used dash nine. You can use other ones and it tells you what their uses are. I put dash nine because it says I'm mobile. Okay. And we've turned on the APRS modem, which is here. Tick that. I'm showing a house, but I suppose really I should show a car, shouldn't I? Click car, yeah. Then position comment, off duty, we've selected 10 seconds for our pop-up. We've left TX, messenger ringer, and RX ticked. We've added a message here on number one, we've ticked the box, we put in Andreas Southwest UK. And you've got these different message groups which I've not used. Beacon, mobile, so, you know, you can have colors here. Let's just put a few on. Why not? Anyway, so what else have I done? I haven't changed any of these APRS, BPS. I've selected APRS band equals RX, R equals TX. I've left that there, it's working. APRS squelch, TX, RX band, APRS compass heading up, APRS mute, I've left off. And it just means you can't, you won't hear the, the, uh, the or you will hear the sounds. 1200 BPS, I didn't change that. I haven't changed any of the Digipath stuff. Uh, data band, let's do A, let's do B, B, R, X, and T, X. Let's do that. Data squelch, I'm not using that. Manual position, because I've got no GPS lock. But if you have got a good lock, just select GPS, and then I've entered my position here. I use the ICOM app, um, ST4002A to get my position, I just find it very good. So, and that's a free app, just download it on the Play Store. So there's my location there. Once you've got that in there, you close it, it asks you to save, click yes. Before I do, just look at these ones here, Comport speed, Comport output, I haven't changed any of these at all. Okay, I'm gonna click save, and then we're gonna send that to our radio. So communication, send to radio. Then the instructions say, hold down the DISP, tap reset clone at the bottom, push it again, and then you'll go to go down to number seven, push. Now, because you're sending it from the PC, you want other to this radio, push that, then click OK on the radio, and then click OK on the PC and it starts to transfer. So yeah, it takes a couple of minutes. Now, what I've noticed is when the radio does restart, it does restart straight back in VFO mode, which I would like it to restart in memory mode. So yeah, it's a question for RT systems. I wonder if I can pause here. Yeah. Okay, we're getting near the end. So, depending on how fast your PC is, it takes a couple of minutes. So, the radio reboots, and as I said, it's in VFO mode. So we can push memory mode to get it back in, so we can have our APRS frequency, which is 144800. Now we're on the right frequency. We don't have to change anything really because we've, we've, we've done it with the RT system software. Push the F button. And if you want to TX, go forward and go, there's beacon TX. And if you want to show a list, a station list, you can go here and that's the stations you received. You can tap the screen, back out. You can beacon, 
But you need to have those settings. And we didn't do beacon settings. Change of power. And that's it, really. Just have a play. The thing I am going to find out is if I can export the settings. So, if, for example, go File, Export. And then I, can I export my just my GPS settings? That would be, you know, from one compute, from one... RT systems to another. So we go radio menu. Never tried that. So if we go to APRS, like so. And now can I just export, file, export? So these are the questions I'm going to ask RT systems. Because you, I know you can export the whole file, but we want to export bits of the file. So file. Export. Let's just put in GPS here and just see what it does. Save. Yeah, I think it saves the whole lot. So I'll be. I'll ask RT Systems. But you can see my radio flashing away in the background. It's such good fun. Have your your APRS coming in on one one part one part of the radio, and on the other half, just use your hotspot. So look, and you can automatically reply. And um, we, I mean, I'm hardly ever use APRS. I tend to sort of have this in the background, but there's lots you can do with it. I'm just um, showing how to set it up quickly with RT Systems. So seven three, thanks for watching my channel, and uh, look me up on APRS FI. See if I show up. The M zero FXB. B-9 at the moment, but I'm not sure if I'll be on long enough. Okay, so 7-3, catch you on now, all the best.